What's up, you guys? Wayne here, and let's talk about the foolishness that's going on on the bowl in the beautiful. So Eric and Donna got married, which I don't mind, even though I'm a resident Logan hater. I really don't mind Donna and Eric getting married. I do remember that Stephanie, Eric's um, dearly departed wife, Stephanie, I remember that she, before she died, gave Donna her blessing, you know, to be with Eric. She said, wait until I die, okay? But after I die, you know, I'm okay with y'all being together. I remember that, right? And I was happy that, you know, they kind of got to a better place. You know, they got past the whole, you slept with my husband and stole them from me thing. I'm glad that they got to a better place before Stephanie died, you know. It just surprises me that it took so long for Dawn and Eric to get back together. You think it would have happened a little bit after Stephanie passed? It took years to get here. <laughs> but we got here. They're married. I'm fine with them being a couple. Cool. The wedding happened at the Forrester Mansion. Of course it did. This show doesn't have the budget for it to happen anywhere else. Nobody I care about was able to attend the wedding. RJ was there with his girlfriend Luna, and Luna was popping all these mints, baby. She kept popping these mints. She wanted to keep her breath extra fresh, baby. So Luna got these mints from her mom, Poppy. Apparently Luna just went in her mom's purse and took the mints, you know. But these mints are not normal mints. They are happy mints or party mints or whatever the hell they call them, right? So these mints are some type of illegal drug, okay? And they're not just mints. They have something else mixed in them. I'm not sure what. I don't think that the writers even told us what kind of mints these are, what drug is in these mints. I don't know. This just seems so far-fetched and contrived. I've never heard of happy mints or party mints, but I don't know everything in the world, but I've never heard of this. This sounds ridiculous. At first, I thought it was some type of edible, but edibles, you know, like in gummies or brownies or whatever, they still kind of taste like the herb. So, like, what kind of mints <laughs> is that, right? So, then, I'm, like, especially what happened at the end of uh, this last episode, um, I'm thinking there, there's some type of LSD is in these mints because what the hell? This is crazy, though. You took some mints from your mom and it turns out they're drugs. Is this why they call Poppy Poppy because she be popping them pills? So yeah, Luna kept eating the mints like they were candy and she's also drinking champagne and my girl is lit, okay? It got to the point where Luna was so tired that she wanted to go home early and she told RJ to stay because, you know, that's his granddaddy just got married, you should stay, but I'm gonna go home, I need to knock out, I'm gonna call me an Uber and then I'm gonna head home, okay? So Luna went to go wait by the guest house on the property, you know, for the Uber to get there. So while Luna was waiting, she got thirsty and she saw in the window of the guest house that there was water in there so she went in the guest house she started drinking water and then she was so tired my girl just took her clothes off and jumped in the bed well that's fine right she can just rest there and sleep it off wrong because you see Zenday, RJ's cousin, currently lives at the guest house on the property, right? And Zenday also really has a thing for his cousin's girlfriend. He really has a thing for her. Every time RJ stepped away from Luna at the wedding, Zenday would pop up to Luna and be like, hey girl, you know I'm living on this property right now, right? I stay right at the guest house, right at the guest house over there. So anytime you wanna get away from my cousin and you wanna meet up at my guest house, I can show you what a real Forrester can do. Like he said that multiple times. Multiple times. If you watch the episodes, you know I'm not even exaggerating much. He really told that girl, come to my guest house. I'll show you what a real Forrester can do, baby. Like, forget RJ. Like, Family Lord, see, where is that? So Luna is at the guest house, and then Zenday excused himself from the wedding. He said, you know what? Congratulations, Granddad. Congratulations, Donna. But I'm tired. I'm going to head out. And then he went to the guest house, and he's taking off his shirt. And then he sees Luna in his bed asleep. He wakes her up. Luna wakes up. She says, oh, hey, I was waiting for you. Like, she says this to Zenday. But she's seeing RJ, like she's imagining RJ, which is why I think this, these mints are like some type of LSD, I guess. So she's imagining RJ, but she's really telling this to Zenday, and Zenday doesn't know anything. He didn't notice anything weird <laughs> about Luna and how she was acting, so, oh boy. And according to the spoilers, yeah, Zenday and Luna are going to sleep together. They're going to sleep together. When she's in this state, she thinks that Zenday is RJ. It's just, 
it's just icky. It's just not right. And writers, we did not need this. It sucks because Zenday is not trying to take advantage of her, but he's going to end up taking advantage of her. Like, it just sucks. He's going to think this girl wants him, but she really doesn't. And this girl is out of her mind right now. It just sucks. It just sucks we didn't need the storyline because it's going to paint Zenday in a bad light. Regardless, it's going to make him look bad. And Zenday didn't need to look bad, especially when he's like the only, one of the few black characters we have on the show and you're going to make him look bad. Like, we asked for Zenday to have a storyline. The fans, we asked for him. For years, he's just been on the show doing nothing. We asked for him to have a storyline, and then when you finally give him one, is this, is this, really? You already had something. Like, Zenday being upset with RJ because RJ is the golden child of Ridge and Brooke Forrester, right? And now he's being handed all these opportunities at the family business that he doesn't deserve or that he hasn't earned yet. Our, Zenday has a right to be upset about that. That makes sense, right? He's working on a line with Granddad. He's now being given yet another line <laughs> when RJ doesn't have any experience to be given all these opportunities, it makes sense that Zenday would be upset. Zenday went to school to design. He's been working at the fashion company designing for years. He deserves all these opportunities that RJ is just being thrown, right? So I get why Zenday is upset about that, right? <laughs> the problem is that the writers already have picked their favorite. They already favor RJ over Zenday, so they have to make RJ be the victim and they have to paint Zenday out to be some evil villain who's just so petty. Because Zenday has a right to be upset at RJ about all this or to be upset with Ridge or to be upset with Granddad even, right? But then they make his concerns petty by having Zenday be upset that um, RJ rented a beach house from his former stepdaddy, right? Like, they're upset. Like, Zenday is upset about this and it makes no sense to me, honestly. It's like, oh, you can afford to get this a million dollar beach property. Oh, not all of us can do that. First of all, why can't you? <laughs> your parents didn't give you a trust fund. I mean, if not, maybe you need to be upset with your parents. But like, also like, this is just ridiculous. Y'all come from a rich family. Like, stop it, right? He's upset about that. Get over it. But also he's trying to take his cousin's girlfriend too. That's also very petty. It's not something that you can really root for, especially when Luna has made it very clear she doesn't want Zenday. Like, I mean, in the past, she's made it clear her not being high or drunk, she has made it clear that she don't want Zenday, right? She wants RJ. She's in love with RJ. She's giving her virginity to RJ. She don't want Zenday. So it just makes Zenday look like the freaking villain. It just demonizes his character when it didn't need to happen, right? It just to make RJ look better. RJ is a very, very boring character right now. He's just very boring. I'm sorry, you're not gonna make him look better by painting Zenday as the bad guy here. Nobody gives a crap. It just sucks all around. Like, why couldn't we just have a consensual love triangle? Is it so hard to, have to write Luna as a character that, hey, I maybe I wanna date both RJ and Zenday and then figure out who I wanna get serious with later? You're like, why can't we have a real love triangle? It's not a real love triangle if you already have a definitive winner. Like, RJ is already the definitive winner. <laughs> She don't want Zenday. That's not a real love triangle. A real love triangle is when somebody has feelings for two people and they just don't know what the fuck to do, right? That's a real love triangle. <laughs> this is not. And yet Bold continually writes stuff like this where you already have a damn victor. We already know Ridge wants Brooke more than Taylor, but yet you keep doing this crap. <laughs> And, you know, we have to go through this merry-go-round over and over just for him to pick Brooke at the end like he always does. Like, it's just dumb. And so many fans are upset because they, you know, fan modern fans today don't really like assault storylines like this. They just don't. Soaps are known for having them, like, like especially back in the day and even back in the day-day. They are known for having these type of storylines, but for today's audience, most fans really don't like them and they get upset every time. I see them on Twitter. They get upset every time so i don't know I, I just don't know bold what y'all were thinking i really don't to close this video out i remember the, one of the last videos i made i talked about who luna's daddy could be apparently it's not bill right <laughs> that would have been the obvious choice so i'm kind of glad the writers didn't go for the most obvious choice but now it seems like the daddy like da luna's daddy is gonna be jack right um lee's ex-husband <laughs> so <laughs> Oh my God. First of all, that should have been obvious from the jump, right? Like that should be why Lee and Poppy have so much, you know, 
tension between them. It should be that Lee knows that her sister slept with her husband and stuff, and that's why she hates her. Instead, it's just over... They hate each other over petty nonsense, right? This is the real meat and potatoes. Like, Bo does not know how to write drama anymore. Like, I don't understand. But... Getting back on topic, it seems like Jack most likely is the father of Luna. That's why Poppy doesn't want to tell anybody who the real father is because it would just cause a mess in the family, right? That you slept with your sister's husband and got pregnant by him, right? <laughs> so, that's who I'm thinking it is now. I'm thinking that Luna's dad is Jack. So, if you're watching this video, what do you guys think about Zenday and Luna and... Like, what do you guys think? And what do you guys think about who Luna's father is? Like, let me know in the comment if you'd be so kind. All right, later, guys. Be blessed.